In this class, we'll discuss about electric flux density. In the year 1837, Faraday has performed one experiment where he has showed about electric flux density. Let's try to understand that experiment. What he has done is, he has taken one sphere and he taken one more sphere. This is a concentric spheres. Now in between them, he placed a dielectric medium. So this is this is a dielectric medium. Now what he has done is, he has given a charge plus Q to the inner sphere. After some time, what he observe is, this charge is uniformly distributed over the outer sphere. He was assuming there is some kind of displacement has happened because of which the inner charge has moved to the outer sphere. So this inner charge which was given to the inner sphere has been moved to the outer sphere. Now he has given that name as displacement flux. Now, so that displacement flux is given by a symbol called as psi and which he was saying that the displacement flux is equal to the charge enclosed by the inner sphere. So which ultimately comes out to be Q. Now if I calculate the, the displacement flux over the surface area which is nothing but Q by 4 pi r square which is the surface area for a sphere this has been named as displacement flux density and it is popularly known as electric flux density. Now electric flux density will be a vectored quantity because the flux lines as it is leaving out of the surface will be pointing outward. So this has to be an r cap which will be a unit vector pointing in a direction. Now if you compare to the previous classes the electric field is nothing but k q by r square and r cap. If I substitute the values k is nothing but 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught r square q r cap. Now if I compare this and this what we can say is d is equal to epsilon naught e. So the electric flux density is related to electric field. In the next lectures we will see more on this.